This is a really beautiful story, isn't it, about two people that you wouldn't expect to have such a lovely friendship. Absolutely. I think that's, you've, you've said it. I mean, we're trying to create a, a, a buddy movie, essentially, a road movie without the road, perhaps. Um, and, and yeah, we're talking about a character who is 74 and a character who's 20. And the fact that they have such an unlikely relationship, I think possibly against adversity, you know, they're, they're both in the same, uh, they, they're both in the same world, so they inhabit the same world, uh, and they're thrown together in that sense. But the fact that they have this amazing friendship just shows that they're both looking for something and they find it in each other. And you play the daughter. Tell us a little bit more about her. I know I've been saying to everyone that I played the daughter, but it's it, the, the character is tricky because it's a kind of will she, won't she, and and uh, you know I don't want to give too much away about that. I want it to be a kind of you know I, I think the whole audience is praying that he will have a reconciliation with a family member, that she will come round to the idea of of meeting him, and uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, actually, the, at the heart of it, it's that what was. Is, is communication how important that is that yeah. to talk between families yeah 100 percent. and also it's uh, it's very difficult when the generations are changing so quickly and the the conversation moves on so quickly and that kind of breakdown in in a, in a generation that perhaps isn't so understanding uh, leading towards a generation that is much more understanding and actually just wants a family member to be a family member and it doesn't matter to them what they're wearing who they identify as they just want to be there and for them to turn up and this film is very much a love letter to Brighton really. absolutely yeah yeah I mean Jamie's a Brighton boy he was born and raised in Brighton and uh, he's been shooting a lot around town but this I think weirdly this movie exists in Brighton because Brighton has a massive history of the drag culture, of, of the LGBTQ community. It's, it, it feels like the perfect place to set this movie. And actually, if we tried to take it out of Brighton, I don't know if it would have the same sort of charm. And I think what's beautiful about this film as well is how it, it tries to tackle just breaking down stereotypes, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think there's there's definitely a stereotype of, of drag and I think Jackie in, in his performance actually totally embodies that. Totally embodies the fact that he his misogynistic in his jokes, his jokes are sexist, they're dated. Um, I mean, the audience still laughs because they're out for an entertainment. But Faith, I think the character of Faith encapsulates a totally new wave of drag queen. Somebody that identifies as non-binary, somebody that's just there being themselves, singing. And then the fact that the, the film is so cyclical and that Faith takes on the mantle, but in his own way, you're right, it totally breaks down stereotypes. That's it from the premiere this evening. Remember to like, subscribe, otherwise you can get tucked.